guys, it's Deuce Cat 5201 here uh, for a match of War Thunder and uh, Stug. Um, so, um, yeah, this is a War Thunder simulator battle I am in. Um, normally, you'd be seeing the game through uh, this kind of look, where you only have the cupola view. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted at all. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's pretty e cool, um, getting some lag. And, uh, like, with simulator battles, uh, you are limited to the cupola and the sniper view. And, uh, when you are shooting, you actually don't get any, uh, um, like, aiming uh, assistance for anything like that. Um, I have no idea why this is being so laggy right now, um, but anyways, yeah. So, me and RBY are in our Sturmgeschutz, uh, also known as the Stug 3A, and, um, it's a pretty good tank. Tier 1 German TD, first TD in the line. Um, it has a pretty low velocity gun. Uh, that is hard to aim in simulator until you kind of get used to it, but if you do hit, you usually will do quite a bit of damage. So I'm going to switch over to my view here, and um, me and RBY were talking on Skype trying to see what we want to do here. Uh, it's kind of hard to, uh, well another, actually one more thing about simulator battles, you actually don't get target markers over enemies. Um, I turned on target markers for the replay here, just so then uh, we could see it. I don't know if it's actually going to show it or whatever. Um, this stuff actually isn't in the normal replay, so I'm just going to get that out of there. I mean, in the normal battle. So we're trying to just, you know, see what's going on here. Not sure. There is a pretty funny part in this replay, so look forward to that. Um, as you can see, this is a quite long replay, though. Uh, yeah. 20 minutes. Simulator battles do take very long, I will warn you, and it's also very hard to get into them, due to a lot of people who kind of like, Oh no, I'm too scared, because I... It would take work to learn how to aim. Um, that tree's sinking into the ground. Uh, you'll see more of that, probably. That kind of stuff happens all the time, me and RBY love that. Um, yeah, but I would definitely recommend you playing simulator battles. Uh, first thing is that you get, uh, um, certain multiplayer, uh, not multiplayer, certain multiplier, mul multiplier, that's what I was looking for, I kept screwing up the word, don't know how I've talked today. Uh, you get a certain multiplayer, multiplier. <laughs> I'm all screwed up right now. I'm tired. Anyways, um, yeah, you get a certain mul uh, multiplier. Um, I don't know what it is exactly. I don't remember. But you get a certain multiplier for uh, oh, what the heck? I don't know what just happened there. For uh, playing simulator as well as realistic battles. Um, though you get more of a multiplier and simulator. Um, also, it's pretty fun. Um, it puts you kind of in the shoes of an actual tanker in terms of having to make ranging shots and um, you kind of have to spot targets for yourself. Um, and yeah, it's pretty interesting. You have to use the, the flash from the cannons to kind of see where enemies are. This is something new that I like, is uh, the driver view camera. Um, I think what's happening here is I'm using the binocular function, which basically allows you to um, be like a commander uh, looking out of the cupola with binoculars. You can actually see things easier when you um, are in that kind of view, but it seems like the replays haven't been adjusted for that yet and it kind of screws it up a bit, so, yeah. So far, me and RBY haven't been able to actually see anyone, um, 
because they've mostly been behind uh, this ridge here, and you can see our team moving up, and I'm I'm trying to loop a shot over the hill, but as you can see, that was the first shot I made, and I didn't realize how much this uh, shell drops. It's, uh, each tank in the game, uh, their shells have a different velocity and a drop different uh, amounts over different lengths. So in simulator battles, simulator battles, you really have to, um, well, for the first shot, you kind of have to make your best guess, and then when if you miss, uh, then you know adjust your aim to be higher or lower depending on where the shell hit. It's a very unique experience that uh, World Tanks just can't offer because it doesn't have that kind of realism in it. But um, yeah, definitely recommend simulator battles. Yeah, there I go again with that. I'm guessing it's just screwed up because the the new update just came out a little bit ago. Also added in the moss, so that's cool, and uh, some other stuff. But the moss is the most important, obviously. Um, I don't remember where RBY is hanging out right now. Um, is he? I want to say that's him back there. It doesn't show me the name of uh, my platoon mate in here. That can I press no? Snork. Yeah. Um. It is a. Uh, I will say one thing: the replay system in this game is a ton better than it used to be, but uh, it's still got a few bugs in it. Yeah, you can't even see like the damage that I'm doing right now. <coughs> So that kind of sucks, but whatevs. Um, I believe it's pretty soon here. There's a pretty funny thing that happens with RBY. Yeah, I think that's him over there. Uh, something really funny here happens. Um, yeah, I was expecting him to keep moving forward and end up missing it because of it. I actually fire at this guy, but he's actually dead right now. Um, I did not realize it. Let's show it, I guess. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, M2 was destroyed already, so I was like, of course. Just waste the shell there. And there's, yeah, you have to range your shots. That shell went low, so I have to move up a bit. That shell goes in, so I just keep it at that level. Adjusting a little bit just to try and find weak spots in his armor. Um, good shot. A uh, good place to shoot them. M2 is, if you can see, well, there's so much smoke going on, and you can't, you can barely even tell where he is. Uh, is to shoot at those um, machine guns on the side of his tank. Those are pretty good spots to shoot at. Yeah, you can barely see. And yep, here it is. He start. Um, RBY starts screaming at me like yelling because there's this M13 um anti-air um anti-aircraft gun and he's just like screaming ah, truck ah, help help it's a truck and like I'm just sitting here laughing my head off at what he's saying cuz it's like saying oh no an artillery and world tanks are saying it <laughs> that was because it, uh, I saw it, it was just like rushing down and s and flanking him and stuff, but his reaction was hilarious. Uh, I wish I could have gotten that on camera. We need to do like War Thunder co-op or something now. But yeah, that was definitely the highlight of my day. I take him down, easy mode. I didn't, I don't actually notice that he's dead yet, so I keep firing at him. As you can see, I'm too destroyed by Deuce Cat already. <laughs> and I just keep blasting away at him. I think the reason I thought he was still alive is because I thought I kept seeing, um... I, kept, I thought I kept seeing some fire come from him. Then I hear uh, the artillery warning and I decide to get the heck out of there because artillery can really mess up your day. Take a shot there, but do doesn't seem to do any damage. Uh, I come over by RBY to try and give him some support. My engine fuel tanks get damaged, then my gunner gets hit, unfortunately. And I'm just taking all sorts of damage. It's crazy right now. I'm 
I'm just trying to back off here, trying to get uh, RBY to help me. Um, yeah, we start taking down that guy up there. I back off so then um, I can start repairing and have him help me. Um, something I didn't actually realize, this is the first time, well this is, was the first, no this wasn't the first battle, but uh, the same night. I repair and then I, we need to get the heck out of there because artillery's coming again. Um, I actually realized that if you're repairing and um, an ally comes up next to you, uh, the ally can also hit the repair key and they can help you repair faster. Um, I think here I start repairing actually, not back there. Um, my repair was like 30 seconds and when RBY started helping me it went down to around 10 seconds or something like that and it was extremely helpful. That guy's starting to rush me and I'm like, oh crap, this is not a good, not a good at all. And he does a, does a drift, probably not expecting that, and I take him out. I'm trying to get RBY over here to help repair my tank, and at this point in the game, um, their tanks are starting to dwindle a bit. Um, they're starting to lose most of their uh, forces and stuff, so uh, uh, pretty soon here we're gonna start pushing pretty aggressively. Um, after this part uh, of the replay, there isn't much. We we get stuck here together, and <laughs> we're trying to you know, our like our tracks are getting stuck together. <laughs> we're like, uh, break off. But yeah, after the truck incident, I'm never gonna let him live that down now. At least in War Thunder. Um, yeah. I decided to come over here. Oh yeah, there's this part where, um, take down some tanks that are attacking this side. And then we go to their base, I believe? I don't remember. It's been a few days since I actually did this match, so... It's just a BT-7, or BT-5, I can't tell. They're all the same. And I'm trying to do some ranging shots here, as you can see. And there he goes. Yeah, that was a BT-7, I was right. And there goes his head, as well. RBY is sliding around on the hill. And, yeah, we start climbing up here. I do like the visual style that War Thunder has. Um. Okay. <laughs> I've seen weirder things than that. I've seen, um. Oh, what was it? I don't remember what tank I, I was in, but. I was in one of my, I think it was a Panzer, but. Um. I got shot a few times, and I was looking at. I was trying to find, you know, where the. Um, holes from the shells were just to see like how that looks and like um, kind of where they're shooting at me for one thing and then just how War Thunder uh, style uh, makes the shell holes. I don't even know. But yeah, I was curious about that. But um, my turret, you know, is right here. But then there's like three shell holes that are like off in space here. And as I turn my turret, those shell holes just floating in space turn around and stuff. It was weird. Uh, anyways, let's get back to the actual replay. Um, there's a guy back there. I think it's an M2, and I'm trying to take some shots in there. Um, yeah, now I can actually see him, so it's easier for me to take shots. Um, I don't remember if I killed this guy or not. Yeah, I already got five ground targets destroyed. Oh yeah, there he goes. He dies now, but I shoot him, uh, shoot him again. It's hard to tell uh, if an enemy has died or not without looking at the chat, because, um, as I said before, there's no enemy target markers, meaning uh, it's just an enemy tank and there's nothing, like, there's no, like, red bar over or whatever, or the name of the tank over there. It's just, it's just the enemy tank, so it's very hard to actually tell, so a lot of times it's best to just shoot them an extra time or something, even though you, they might be already dead. And I keep looking through my binoculars here. 
it's a pretty cool thing, um, the new, uh, things they've added for that. But, yeah, they haven't implemented the Binox into the replay too well yet. Okay, I think I can go back to my normal view now. We're trying to shoot this Stuart. Uh, RBY is like, oh crap, taking fire, but no, that was just an ally missing his shot by a mile. I get him there, I believe. Yeah, I think I... Did I get him? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did get him. Um, I, I was telling RBY that to hit him, it was the second markdown, but since he's far farther away now, we can't use that. But he gets killed here by, I think that's Panther. Or no. This is 38T. Um, yeah, here we're starting to cap their base and stuff, and the capper actually gets killed um, by one of their T28s. Um, yeah, T28 there. Or was that a different one? I don't know. Oh, that's interesting. Never even noticed that. Anyways, yeah, I, I use this. It's actually really cool. It makes you. I I think it's really cool. It makes you kind of feel like like an actual tanker driving. I don't know. That's just me, but whatever. Yeah. As I was saying before, I really do like how this game looks. It's very nice. Though RBY, he has a bit worse computer. Apparently, it it looks kind of like a bunch of poo. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it's almost the end of the game here. Um, is there any way to speed this up? Yes, there is. Yeah, I'm gonna speed this up because I'm pretty much just driving here for a while. And there actually isn't much left to this replay, so, um... I'm just gonna keep it like this for a little bit and then pause it at the end because... Uh, yeah, we just kind of assault their base. There's two guys left in their base. Um, yeah, him and them two. I thought it was two T28s. I don't know. But, um, yeah. We just assault their base and we take down their last two tanks. Um, though me and RBY don't really get a whole lot of shots. It's interesting. I know I've, I never noticed that as you kind of drive along and go through the battle, your tank gets like muddy and stuff. Actually, I, now that I'm thinking about, it, I noticed that last match I was in my one of my Panzers and my tank was like super dusty and stuff. It was pretty cool. As I was saying, hey, uh, that's just another thing I like is that they have a lot of attention to detail that makes it look really cool. If you haven't gotten War Thunder, I definitely suggest that it's free. Um, I have a link to it in my about page on my YouTube channel if you want to go there. I believe if you sign up through there you get some free gold. Uh, so yeah, use that to sign up and you'll get some free gold and stuff and yeah. Um, yeah, I believe we cap out here. Uh, I just, I'm just gonna leave it here. Um, Due to the fact that uh, we're gonna cap out, or I don't, I think, yeah, I think we cap out. I don't remember. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. And um, hmm, I'm gonna have to mess around with this camera. It's interesting. But yeah, I hope you have an all. Uh, have you all? Bleh. I hope you all have enjoyed this episode of War Thunder. Uh, I haven't done one in a while. I've been mostly doing World Tank stuff and all that. But uh, anyways, I hope you have all enjoyed. And um, yeah, that's about it. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. This has been DeuceCat5201 and also in this battle, RBY. Uh, I think that's him right there. Um, DeuceCat5201. Uh, I want to go back to my camera. Signing out. <laughs>